get him back, lose him to an ankle, Dakota to Tyler, um, and knee. Uh, we'll, we'll be able to uh, look at it a little bit better tomorrow. Zach West, shoulder, Ray Ray, Sanders has a knee. All those things that we'll take a look at, get x-rays and MRIs tomorrow, and then uh, be able to take a closer look at it. Um, you know, uh, we um, made plays early in the game. Uh, you know, we've been trying to get started a little faster by practice, change, change the way we practice a little bit and getting right into some 11 on 11 stuff right away. And, and it showed a little bit. Um, now we got to do a better job of finishing. You know, um, we didn't, didn't finish the, you know, we didn't finish the end of the first half very well offensively. Um, you know, and, uh, and then we didn't finish in the second half. So um, all those guys, we did. A, I thought the defense played well in the first half and uh, only gave up 20 some yards rushing, uh, which against that team that we just played, as athletic as their quarterback is and as uh, big and physical as their tailback is, pretty pretty good job. Uh, but the second half, they were a little bit more patient. Um, South Carolina was and stuck with the running game a little bit uh, longer and uh, was able to rush uh, to get 200 yards rushing on us, which we, we couldn't get them stopped and get ourselves off the field uh, defensively. So, uh, and then we just didn't could, couldn't get anything going on offense in the second half and uh, you know, to, to try to match the scores that they they made. I think their first three possessions they scored touchdowns and we could we couldn't match. Question. Jalen looks like he tweaked his ankle at the end of the game. Is that also an ankle injury, or do you know? I mean, I mean, it looked like he did, but he didn't. He didn't uh, go to the trainer, so um, the trainer didn't come to me with any anything. So. And Max's ankle, he went in the back for a while. Did he get X-rayed, or do you? He know? did get X-ray. X-rays were negative, but you know, we'll, we'll take another look at it tomorrow. Joker, did it look like they just wore you down with their size on the line in the second half? Oh, well, I just think they was a little bit more patient with the with the run game. Um, you know, we they, our defense had to play. One of the things that we talked about before the game is, um, you know, I'll go go around and talk to our, our all three spaces that our guys are in charge. And one of the things, you know, the time of possession. You guys have seen how, you know, the time of possession has been. Uh, our opponents have had a huge time of possession of us. And, one of the things that we talked about defensive is, is our defense got to get themselves off the field on third down, got to play really good and goal line defense. And in the first half, what do we do? We, we, we have a goal line stop. Uh, we play really good on third down to get ourselves off the field. Um, therefore, you know, those guys don't have, have the ball uh, as much, and we, we control the time of possession in the first half. The second half, we didn't do that. We didn't get stops on third down. Uh, and we didn't get uh, stops uh, on the goal line. So uh, when they get that many possessions, it becomes, um, you, know, you do start to wear down a little bit. So we sure. just didn't get our steps off the field. So you mentioned this week that if Whitlow had to play, the, the, the percentage of the playbook opening was very limited. Was it, after, was it a case after halftime that they sort of seized on the fact that he only could, you know, run? Well, no, I mean, we, of things? you know, and, and, and I, I know at halftime coming off, I talked to uh, to Dick and Dick was talking about the playbook with him and, and you know how well he was doing. He was doing well. He was he made some plays, but that's the thing. <coughs> Motions, and shifts that we do, he came really hard with him. Once he missed a few of them, some you know some of the pressure that he got was because we didn't you know we didn't send a motion or didn't send shifts. But again. Um, he's a guy that's again, uh, he's a talented guy. Again, okay, we always say freshmen's gonna make some plays. Um, they're gonna make some mistakes also. He made 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 some few plays in the first half, but made some mistakes that got you away from some of the things because um, you know um, you know you, you got afraid to, to send all the shifts and motions that we want. Joker, do you feel like at the end of the first half you had the ball? Time's coming down on the clock. If you punch it in there. You know, it's a 24-7 game going into half. Do you feel like you guys really missed an opportunity there? We did, no doubt about that. We missed a huge opportunity, you know. I mean, you get, get some points, you know. Uh, we missed, and, and we had our field goal team ready to run out on the field. You know, we, we didn't anticipate, take, you know, bumped, bumping the ball. And now it's a scrum for the ball and pick it up. And, you know, and now it's only two or three seconds left, you know, instead of, you know, 
10 to 12. You know, so we, we missed a huge opportunity to get points. And, get, and I think that was a momentum swing. It was. It was a huge momentum swing. We got the ball out back in the second half. And I think it would have definitely helped if we got some points out of it. Joker, what happened on the second down? There we get enough calling the timeout and let about 20 you seconds. You know, um, again, just real methodical and getting the play called, you know. I mean, it's just like really slow and, you know, this guy doesn't hear it. We have to, I mean, things that can't happen, happen, you know. Things that can't happen, happen on, on uh, second down and you use up a timeout. Once the clock, I mean, the clock is moving and now you lose even more time. So, I mean, you can't get the clock all the way down. If I know that, I'd call timeout. You know, at, at 40 seconds, at 35 seconds, you know, on the, on the play clock. So, uh, those other things that happen in that on that second down cannot happen, should not happen, and can't happen. With the exception of the end of the first half, is that how you can envision your team clicking? You know, yeah. I mean, that's exactly what I mean, when we 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 play with great effort. And our guys play with great effort, and, and I'll tell you, I, I think they have all year. Um, and we played with enthusiasm. The thing we did was play with total focus, and I think um, that's the thing that this football team is young. I mean, there was a lot of babies out there making plays for us, and um, again, but there was a lot of mistakes that were made out there also when you have a lot of young young players out there playing for you. Joker, did you think Latimer more of such a big back wore you down a little bit? I mean, that's the same uh, question to just answer. I mean, a little bit, yeah, but, but we you know, SEC ball, you got you, you to bow up and get stopped. As well as you played in the first half and was such a young team, how concerned were you at halftime with getting them off the cloud? I wasn't, wasn't concerned about that. I want them to come out with the same enthusiasm. I didn't want to try to bring them down. I want to try to keep them up. You know, the thing I mean, we talked about is you know, 30 more minutes of the same total concentration, total focus that we needed in the second half. What was encouraging to you about Jalen, especially if he has to? Encouraging that, that he made some big time throws for us, and again, he, he has a chance to, to extend plays with his with his with his feet. And, um, he made a few plays for us uh, in, the, in the quarterback run game, and he also made a few plays by pulling the ball down and, and, and making a play with his feet. So that was encouraging for him, and he, you know he looked like he had been there. You know, like, again, you know he didn't have the bright eyes that you see in some guys when. You know, last year when we said Max, you may be up, he wouldn't. Max was in his locker looking at the playbook. You know, I mean, this guy you know, went out there and played. You know, um, and, and uh, again, made a few plays. But you know, again, we got to continue to get him better so he, he can have even more of the playbook the next time he gets, he's able to play. Trevor, what do you think about between Jalen and I guess Darren play a lot of block and fun? Agreed, blocked the punt. He, he said he blocked it. I, don't know. I mean, a lot of young guys out there making plays. I mean, yeah, and, I, and I've been saying that uh, I think that Legree, he, he was a guy that I, I said that we have to get the ball in his hands because he plays so fast for us. Um, and he hadn't caught but one, hadn't caught a pass up until last week. Uh, but you can still see it, that how fast the guy plays when he's on the field. Uh, and uh, he's, he's a really tough guy. Um, Real physical wide receiver, um, you know, and, uh, he's a guy that, do, I mean, uh, on the skinny post, uh, that was as good a throw and as good as a catch, you know, with, with the guy hanging on you as I've ever seen. That was two true freshmen. I mean, I'm talking true freshmen. One's playing at Prattville last year, another playing at Fort White, you know, and they're playing against one of the top ranked defenses in the country. So um, I think uh, it was really encouraging to see those young guys making plays for us. Great. If Max can't go next week, are there things you can do with this offense, tweak this offense to take advantage of Jalen's, maybe some things he does that Max doesn't do? You know, we, we might have maybe put more quarterback run game in. You know, we've, we've put a little in. Uh, we might have to add, add a little more in for him um, because he can can make plays with his feet. You know, um, he's not a, you know a great wildcat kind of guy. Cause most of the Wildcat runs are downhill, physical runs. And, you know, you don't want to get your quarterback into that type of, uh, um, you know, all the time into those type of runs. But there's some other things that we'll have to do with it. That one scramble, you talked about the one scramble he had where it looked like he was done and he made a super athletic move to go inside of him. 
Yeah, I mean, he, he's, he's got that ability. That's the reason why we decided that, you know, again, he can extend plays for us and, and uh, you know, has the ability to escape in the pocket. And, uh, and we saw it on that play. Joker S S Sanders and George, I think, only had three or four carries between them in the second half. Obviously, you weren't out on the field a lot. But was that because of what? Yeah, what, what we, weren't was dealing, or, I mean, we weren't on the field a lot. You know, we, we um, you know, just didn't get enough plays. We were out, you know, I think the first series, we made, made a first down, but went three and out right after that first down. So we just didn't get enough plays to, to, um, to get a chance to run the football. Joker, if Max's ankle keeps him out for a while, might have to take the tag off hold. Might, you know, might, you know, but again, we won't do that and, and unless, um, you know, Max is out for a while. And then also we won't do it unless we're going to play him. You know, at this point in time, it's no, no sense of taking it off of him if, you're not gonna, if he's not going to play you know, a significant amount. Any more questions? Coach, what was the key to their defense being more effective in the second half after you were able to really establish some runs uh, early in the first half? Well, just the pressure that they put on us uh, um, with their front four in, in the passing game. Uh, and then, again, we, we got ourselves into some long down uh, situations that we weren't able to you know, continue to establish the run the way we did in the first half. Last question. Who wants it? <laughs> All right. Joker, I mean, uh, about time. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you what do you want him to take from this game? I mean, do you want him to be more upset about losing, or, or well, more I want him to take that we got to. We, I want him to take that we've got to play sixty minutes. I mean, you know, when you you as young as a football team as ours, and, you know, you're playing against the number eight team in the country. And you have to do. You have to play clean. Okay, you have to play fast. You had to play with great effort, which I thought we did, but you got to do it for 60 minutes, you know. We did it for, for, for about, you know, 35 minutes, you know, and, uh, and uh, you know, then they took charge, took, took over, you know, and took the momentum, and, and we never got it back. Okay? Thanks, Coach.